Evelyn. And I'm Kaylin. And welcome, welcome to, to the, the transcript. transcript. This week, the transcript gets into the inside scoop on indoor soccer, listens to NHS saxophonist Oscar Fisher, and explores the college application process for art students at NHS. Hi, I'm Connor McClendon. Welcome to Ham Up. Y'all ready for this? We have entered the darkest time of the year, the one week between fall and winter sports here at Northampton High School. However, in this time of darkness, there shines a beacon of hope. This beacon comes in the form of AstroTurf, white walls, and a dimly lit arena called All Sport Arena. This week, the Northampton Derby takes center stage. FC Bings entered the game seeing another three points as they look to climb higher in the standings. Northampton FC entered the game looking to remain undefeated on their season in their quest for a championship. Their roster featured a number of players from the Blue Devils boys varsity soccer team. Both of these teams feature players from Northampton High School. They may be friends off the field, but as soon as those cleats hit the AstroTurf, they are out for blood. Indoor soccer is played on a smaller field surrounded by walls almost like a hockey rink. The game is much more physical and violence is a common occurrence. Contrary to lengthy, low-scoring outdoor soccer games, indoor soccer is a fast-paced sport which features an abundance of goal scoring. Sal Viola, Emmett Volkman, and Ian Hutchins led a potent Northampton FC attack as the team got off to a fast start and never gave up their lead. Mikey Majewski, Nick Capers, and John Ferrara each scored for FC Bings, but in the end, it was not enough as Northampton FC came away with an 8-3 victory. Don't forget to come to the Curry-Hicks cage tonight over at UMass to watch the Northampton boys basketball team take on rival Amherst in their season opener. Hi, I'm Meredith. For any art students applying to colleges, art portfolios are essential. I spoke with a few students about what they are and why they're important and how they'll be helpful in future life. Um, an art portfolio is a collection of around like 15 to 20 of your strongest works of art in the past few years and it reflects like your voice as an artist, um, it displays your technical strength and what direction you're going in in terms of materials and concepts. Art portfolios are important because they're a reflection of your personal interests, your voice, the style that you're drawn to naturally, the level of technical skill you've acquired throughout your years of work and progress as an artist. My art portfolio is important because I'm applying to colleges that are liberal arts with strong like fine arts programs and so it kind of shows them that like I'm a multi-dimensional person, I have interests beyond traditional academics and they get a stronger sense of who I am through my art because it's an expression of my personal voice. Right now, I'm going to start three. We're making a small series of 12 artwork. So this is something I'm working on right now. It's, it's a combination of plastic photography and um, like metal paint. This, it's still in progress. I'm working on a bunch of stuff like this and other students are making like giant paintings of people and drawing cities. So starting in Honors Art 1, we made our first series which is a group of artwork that all follows a consistent theme or style. For me it's just a matter of showing everything I'm capable of and showing like my best work and all the different uh, varieties 
of stuff I like to get into. Hey, I'm Levi Sivian. So in the second of a series of segments on bands and various NHS musicians, uh, I sat down with Oscar Fisher, a saxophonist, to talk about the saxophone and his band and where he hopes to go. I'm Oscar Fisher. I'm a junior at Northampton High School and I play the alto saxophone. I started playing saxophone in sixth grade in middle school with Miss Williams. I have a band. Uh, we have a jazz band that we play in outside of school and I also sit in with a lot of other local bands. I'm hoping to major in music in college and hopefully have a career in music. Music is very important to me, you know. I take, I'm in music theory and band this semester, which means three hours of the day I'm studying music or playing. And it's really a huge part of my life, you know. I play my instrument half an hour to an hour every day. So music is very important to me. The sophomore class is selling candy canes until December 16th and will be delivered on December 21st. They're only a dollar and 25% of profits go to the Northampton Survival Center on sale during lunch. Also, remember to check out nhstechnology.org for more from the transcript.